Hello friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes YouTube channel. This is really quick tech video for somebody who might own 2007 Dodge Sprinter 2500. This one is equipped with a OM642 turbo diesel engine and it has 5 speed automatic transmission 722.65 I'm just finishing full service and full service of the transmission means you are not only replacing transmission fluid you remove the pan you replace the gasket you replace the filter but you are also doing torque converter fluid out. So this is the number for torque converter bolt and the crush washer which is on it. It's already installed inside. And I wanna share with you all these tech details. So I got 3.4 after the tranny was empty completely the transmission was done first the pan everything was empty after that i opened the torque converter and i caught 3.4 quarts of the fluid in my case this vehicle has 209,000 miles on the clock and if somebody said oh yeah the transmission is toast because in the pan on the magnet there were shavings. Well, today I finally open it. There were super fine shavings, as usually. That will be normal. But here I have a glitter. I have some miniature parts. This is what came out of converter. You get more realistic picture of the tranny watching what is coming out of converter. So. I on purpose caught it in the clean pan and I see a glitter. So there are microscopic, very tiny pieces of metal shavings. Let's go look underneath the truck. To get to the torque converter uh, drain bolt, you have to turn the engine. I mean, first you remove this plug which is, I will show you where. Sorry, this is absolutely nuts. I have two lights here for you. Do you see that opening? That's where the bolt is. It's absolutely crazy difficult because all these cross members, there is sway bar. It's absolutely nightmare just to open it, then it pours all over this stuff. I mean, this 2007 Sprinters, even to get the pan off, this cross member is in the way. You have to lift the engine here. There's no way to clear the pan out. This is in your way, so absolute nightmare. As I said, right now it's empty. I did replace the electronic converter in different video. It was just one thing with the first drain. And I'm trying to save this tranny. When some shops said to the previous owner, oh, there are shavings, this is done. And they normally go around this time. So there is that little plug. You saw the ordering number from Mercedes-Benz. It comes with its washer. It's a four millimeter hex. The big one, this one, long one doesn't fit there, so you need to play with small one, and then the long one, small one. Normal socket hex doesn't fit there whatsoever. There is the spring, you see that fiberglass spring, like on the Corvettes? This vehicle doesn't have a normal steel springs. Actually, it has only shocks on the sides, right? The dampening shocks, there is a fiberglass spring leaf spring doing the front suspension so very interesting absolute nightmare i will never do this commercially for anybody 
because there's not much space here anyway. So these were the numbers for someone who would like to get your hands on it. It's doable, but I'm telling you, my friend, this is nightmare. You have to turn the engine. It's a, I had to use a 27 millimeter deep socket, right? And the half drive. I had it up there, cutting myself on the shroud, plastic shroud, having the gloves. It's still, it's, it's just, man, this is pretty, pretty annoying. On the previous gen of the sprinters, this is absolute breeze. I did it on those two. I will never turn down the job like that. But on this, oh my God, I will never take this from somebody, this job, and do it completely. So drain and refill, sure, but no. That clearance here, it's so bad. They created the protrusion here, but it doesn't work. The filter, which is there, it's in the way. It's absolute nightmare. Now for those who are new to this and never dealt with it, never heard of it, how do you fill up that torque converter? Does it have a special fill port? No, you just use the automatic transmission dipstick tube and you are filling the tranny and the transmission will send it into that torque converter so I'm expecting here now I have everything oh completely dry right in the 722.65 so I will be pouring roughly five then I will carefully start it up let it move and after that I will be I'm expecting somewhere between seven and eight quarts which is very similar to liters. The Mercedes-Benz fluid comes in the liters. So it's up to eight liters of that fluid. It will be there. You need your dipstick, which in this case is sold as a tool, right? It's not included. You have only the cap. So I will be measuring that. That's ideally with the fluid hot. You need to be running it through the gears. And only then you can insert that dipstick and measure between the lines which are on the bottom. So that was some technical information for those who are trying to go the all the way. Because the drain plug is included and that's a big advantage than just draining and refilling that transmission, the pan, which normally gets you only like four quarts out max this is completely different now I know I got everything out and I'm starting from the scratch so cross fingers that this tranny is good there was only miniature shavings which is kind of normal as we said it has a 209,000 miles thank you for watching and be subscribed I have way more coming your way soon see ya